What are we eating again? We're eating lunch. We're gonna probably get lunch. <laughs> I know we're eating lunch, bro, but where exactly? Do oh, you ramen. remember? Ramen? Where are we right now? We are at? One one o'clock. One bond. Yes, sir. You are tuned in to Third World Vlogs, <laughs> episode one. What's up, Pete? Uh, today we got, we just got some, you know, just some simple Air Jordan ones, you know, and, uh, in storm blue, you know, and, and I, I stitched up uh, like a pair of breads on top. You know, they're also called unions. Yeah. We're now looking for ramen nagi. That I feel like I've never been in this mall before. I've yeah, it's it's pretty. Is this where Titan is? It's pretty, yeah. It's pretty. Oh, high. then we have been here. Oh we yeah, we, we, we weren't allowed to go in. God, I can't believe they rejected us. <laughs> they were like, oh, you need like a you need like a fucking schedule or something. Hi. Oh. Sorry, we're late. What's up? What's up, man? What's up? What's up? What's on feet today? What's on feet today? Water be the guide. So, be the guide. Salini, right? Ryan, then doors. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go with the thick one. What are we doing today? We're going to Fortune in Greenhouse. We're out here. <laughs> Did you long distance delivery? Oh, grab. How long does it take, though? An hour. Yeah. <laughs> Their order is pretty. So yeah. Is that mukbang? <laughs> I'm Nico Caro Avocado. Shout out, shout out to my boy Nico Caro. We out here eating ramen with bibs. I'm a homies in Vancouver. Y'all need to get in my level, man. We got bibs here. We ain't got bibs in Vancouver. Check this out. Check out the check out the sesame. Look at that shit, man. Look at that. Yeah, dude. Spicy ramen. Spicy <laughs> ramen. <laughs> So June, June Watanabe, right? Is it June Watanabe? Junior Watanabe. Oh my Junior Watanabe, oh my god. Yeah, Junior Watanabe, what do you think about that with the Supreme? <clears throat> when I saw it, I just fell in love with the pants, dude. Those olive pants. But, but could you justify I, purchasing another pair of those, like the, the Supreme I mean, version? I wouldn't buy it, because I think it would be a waste of money for me. I already have the same pair of pants. I mean, not the brand, but like, you know, yeah. how it looks like. Supreme and Junior did a good job on these movies. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I'm in the same boat as you. Like, like let's say if I did have those, man, for the show. If I was in, if I was in, the, if I was in the thing with you, like, if I was in the same boat as you, where I had those same type of pants, and then I had to decide that I still really like those ones, the the Supreme Junior ones, I'd mostly look at it as like, oh, I already have something that looks similar to that, so it's like, why well, I, I should just pass on it because. Exactly. Like regardless of the brand, I feel like I'm right. like these days. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, do, like do you actually this. dance? Do I dance? Yeah, like actually dance. Like actually Did dance. Did you used to dance? So yeah, those shoes right there. Actually, it came out the same same time as the LeBron twos because the Chamber of Fear was um, part of the ad campaign for the LeBron twos. Super limited. I'm not sure how wide of a release they were. I know shoes. <laughs> hey, thank, thank you. you so much. So this is Titan 22, Manila's premier sneaker shop, sneaker boutique. I gotta say, I really love the uh, products that they have up here. Like, look at look at this. Like, this is literally a fortune. There we got the Nike Air Max. That's Fraggies. some Fraggies. Fraggies. Uh, Rip Chinatown Market. I think, what do they call now? Market. market. What do you think, Jeff? Did you think that they needed to change their name from Chinatown Market to Market? People today will just say any type of bullshit. So it's a pretty good move for them, you know, just to avoid the noise. That's like, oh, fuck it. It's like gonna dent the yeah. business. You're right. I don't think it really affected their sales, eh? Yeah. These are the new release, right? Yeah, the, the new blazers. blazers. The off-white, uh, off-white. Um, honestly, they look, they look pretty. Like um, they look pretty good. I had the the off-white blazers before, and this one I could use every day. This looks more comfy. I think these look really cool. My opinion, though, is I don't know if I'm feeling like the baseball baseball stitching on the toe. Yeah. Maybe they should have gone with maybe a different color so it doesn't remind me too much of a baseball. But hey, if you like baseball, you can easily slip your foot into these. That's pretty. Too. Pretty sick. Adidas Quicks. Adidas. Adidas Quicks. Renowned oh, local toy artist Quicks. So this is his shoe. 
Yo, are these actually still in stock? Are they still got yeah. full size run on these? I think they do. It's on the website as well. Damn. Would you cop? Would I cop? I would cop, man. Shout out to Quicks. Hey. Much love from the third world. Ooh. Four purple Ooh. ones. And then we have mm -hmm. mids. Are you rocking with mids? Uh, they are. They are. <laughs> Love, love for the man, mids, mids, the third row. Man, mids get a lot of hate, but I gotta say, like, you know, for what they are, they make a short, they make a very desirable shoe, something that's attainable for a lot of people. I gotta show love for the mids because I think that the mids are really, like, there are a lot of crazy, questionable colorways that come out, but like in classic colorways like this, they're still really good. Yeah. So much respect for the mids. <laughs> What do you think about windbreakers? I love windbreakers, man. They're a classic. If you're gonna be wearing a windbreaker in the Philippines, yeah. like it doesn't get too hot. With the hype of vintage, do you think it's necessary that big brands still come up with like new designs? It's, it's gonna be necessary because there's still a market for people who yeah. want vintage stuff without having to buy used goods. So windbreakers are still are like a classic. Like I don't think they'll ever go out of style. What about you? Are you a fan of windbreakers? No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I don't. I don't wear them like on a casual basis. Yeah, yeah. No. But I mean, it helps with the rainy weather and yeah. everything else. I think like right now, a lot of people are transitioning to like workwear. Maybe windbreakers don't really fit into that. You know, if you're just a general fan of vintage stuff, then I think uh, I think windbreakers are good. So this is the new off-white Jordan merch. Yeah. It's one piece. Yeah. What? That's pretty sick. That's supposed to be. That's supposed to go with the off-white twos, right? Look! Look at the detail on the hoodie. Yeah. Can you reach that, Jay? Which one? Yeah, new hoodie. Oh. Let's, let's do a 360 on this. Damn. Look at that. The new logo. Kind of yeah. curious how they picked green when the shoes that released were white and red and blue white. and black. Yep. How much is it? It's gonna be crazy expensive. What is the price? Oh, there's no, no price. price. It's so expensive, they don't want to show the price, bro. That's <laughs> that's when you know. You can try asking. Expensive. Yeah. How much is this? Eleven nine nine five. Eleven nine nine five. They also yeah. have it on the tee, and it's also embroidered. And it's embroidered. Yeah, it is. Ooh. Try Damn, checking that out. son! Actually, they went all out with the merch in this round. And the fabric's pretty nice, man. It's, it's heavy. Let's just look at the GR merch for us regular people. <laughs> <laughs> Embroidery, it's not the same size as this one, so... Yeah. Pass on that, right? You're rocking with this? Oh, God, dude. <laughs> That's too much for me, man. Can you wear that? Is that you? Yeah, man, this is so me. That's so you, bro. <laughs> that size is so you. I love Jordan, bro. Yeah, yeah for sure, for sure. You got the, the little Prada, little Prada emblem. That's actually, yeah, it looks like the Prada emblem, but it's actually a throwback to the Jordan 14s. This is like the Jordan 14 emblem that used to be on the side of the 14s. That's a workwear shirt. Jordan going full workwear. Workwear, yeah, workwear boys. Do not, do not, whatever you do, do not do the ice in my veins pose, please. I'm gonna arrange my height. I like that. <laughs> now they know how small I am. Some people actually think I'm five nine. I know, right? That's Crazy. good, right? That's good, that's good. That's good, that's good. But guys, I'm 5'2". What is this dude doing there? Damn, it's hot in this elevator. It must no, be cost no elevator music, man. It's yeah, quiet and it's hot. They're really cost-cutting these days. <laughs> I actually really fuck with ASICs. I think it has a lot to do with the fact that Kiko Kostadinov is actually like, well, he's not the only one. There's a lot of other collaborators, but Kiko is really the one that, I, to me, it seems like Kiko was the one to kind of like bring ASICs back up. Back to life. <laughs> or not, maybe not even bring it to life, but like finally bring hype to the brand, yeah. you know what I mean? With New Balance, New Balance didn't have hype. Yeah. And it was, you know, Emmy Leon Dorden. Kind of gave them that hype. Shout out Teddy Santos. I'm really looking forward to the V6s. Oh, you really like them? I really like. I them. feel like the the V6s yeah. are nice, but they're not like monumental nice. Like where I'm like, oh fuck, that's amazing. Yeah. I can respect it. They look there, but you know, I yeah, honestly they look still here though. Really? I thought think? they look more hard, low profile compared to like the V5s and the V4s. Or I don't know. Maybe it was just the detail of the sole. Which it, made it look like it's thick. Like higher. Yeah. Maybe it looks um, higher, but yeah. as for wider. I still I know, think yeah, that. Wider. I was I talking about the sword. Yeah, I see what you mean. Is 
this the drink? Yeah, that's the drink. Yeah. This is what I've been looking for. Oh yeah, we drank this in the Commonwealth. Yeah, Commonwealth, yeah. right? Yeah. For the cup? Oh, dude. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, that's so huge. But I think you're definitely a, a smaller or medium because they fit big. Not because you want to spend, because it actually looks Yo, good. these guys are trying to get me to buy this piece. It's really nice. I thought, I thought me up. what happened to like the that. opinion? Huh? <laughs> what happened to the opinion when you saw it online? It's different now? What? I I, I thought I said it was amazing when yeah. I went online. <laughs> <laughs> You're killing me, man. Getting lemonade for you. <laughs> what? I just, I Bro, just chugged the whole I can't afford it anymore. Can? I can't I'm afford good. lemonade That's anymore. Awful. I wasn't gonna buy this, okay? Yeah. But Matt, he wasn't. Mika had to gas me up and be like, oh, it's totally you. And now, look It's where totally I am. his now. <laughs> you got the medium or the large? Uh, I ended up going with the medium. Like, I, the large looks good when it's layered. The medium looks better when there's nothing underneath. But yeah. then I tried layering this underneath yeah. the, the medium too, and it still good. looked good. Okay. Where are we at? We're at Nathan's. Their hot dog is bomb. Like, this is one of the best hot dogs in Manila, but in New York, of course. Hey, yo, shout out to Joey Chestnut. <laughs> Winner of uh, Nathan's famous hot dog eating contest. How many times? Like 20 times? It's crazy, man. He ate like 100 hot dogs in, yeah, like, in like an hour. Yeah, legit. For real? They do it every year. They have the competition. Yeah. So now that we're here, let's take some time like to introduce it. the world to the Third World Vlogs team. Hey guys, my name is Madge. I'm the founder, co-founder and creative director of the Third World, which was started in 2012. And um, yeah, it's about a decade old next year. And I'm with my guys, Carlo and Jen. What's up guys? Uh, it's Jethro. I'm the videographer, video editor, and marketing manager of the third world. I've been friends with Madge for a while. I hit her up. I was like, yo, let's do something together. And we were like, bet. And here we are now. You know, we're making content with the homies, peep the homies out. We out here in Greenbelt. You know how we do? I rep the What's up guys? My name is Carlo Aragon. I am the editor in chief of the e-magazine for uh, the third world. I don't have any special, like, other special things that I do, but I just, I love the Philippines. I love fashion and culture, and you know, it's one of my goals to connect you guys, not just to what's going on over here or what's going on internationally, but one of my passions is to be able to get local brands here, local companies, local restaurants, local bands, and just bring them up and get them the recognition that they deserve. So I'm super happy to be here. I'm super happy that you guys are watching and looking forward to uh, seeing where this journey takes us for the third world. So thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys Bye. some more later. <laughs> I'm here at Commonwealth, here at the pop-up shop with Aaron and Pau from Fortune, Wonderworks Division. They just released their most recent collection. So what was your main inspiration behind the current collection that you guys released? Well, to be honest, there's no inspiration. I mean, that's kind of weird because everyone was asking where did we get the inspiration from, but we were uh, fortunate to have like a lot of fabrics from our old brands, actually. So we just kind of use all the uh, all the fabric. Dead stock fabric. Yeah, dead stock fabric. And then we decided to do something about it. If you're gonna ask me what inspiration? I, I really can't tell. Basically, like stuff we want to make, like, stuff we want to wear. We really named this collection Mainline One. Now it's more something that's easy to wear, something that's like you can wear every day. And then one of the main constraints of this collection is we just use dead stock fabric that we've like collected over the years. When we find nice fabric, we just get it and then like decide when to use it. We're like kind of hoarders yeah. in a way, like we just buy it. and then right now we're like what's been happening around us. Like we kind of wanna, don't wanna contribute to like that excess of everything. So we wanted to use what's there available already. You guys obviously have a passion for making sure that things don't go to waste and being ethical about fabrics that get used because it's a huge issue right now in the fashion community. Aside from that, what is it about your personal style or your personal experiences that you use to kind of apply to the concept of this collection? Well, the main style for this collection is actually 2000s hip hop. Aaron's actually wearing the copy suit, the, the, the design for Mainline One. So the inspiration for this copy suit is like from Snoop, uh, Snoop Dogg's album, the, the the Last Meal. Actually, to explain the detail about it, the multi seam actually came from the the jail bars of the album cover. Style, my style is really flexible. Coming from the era where we used to 
like wear baggy clothes and all that. I'm still kind of into that style, but more like a Japanese kind of style and uh, workwear. Yeah. But, uh, now that you guys have finished with this collection, what do you guys see for the future of Fortune going forward? Right now, because we invested in our own production facilities, we kind of want to maximize experiments, the team. Yeah, more experiments, yeah. Um, uh, develop more our own construction and details. So more, uh, more signature styles. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I can't tell can't, more about uh, it because yeah, you yeah, know the next sure. collection is pretty soon. coming out pretty soon. So. That's awesome. So yeah, I can't spill all the yeah, beans. For sure. Well, we are definitely looking forward to it. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for taking the time. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you. We got Aaron and Paul yourself. from uh, Fortune Wonderworks Division. Uh, this is the third world. Thanks thank to you these guys. guys. We're here at Commonwealth. Oh. Hey guys, we just finished our first interview with the guys from Fortune Wonderworks Division. Super thankful to Pao and Aaron. And Isai. Yeah, yeah, they're awesome. And Isai, yeah, for sure. Like, what do you guys think about their collection? Absolutely, man. Like, yeah. from the first collection, everything's been always quality. It's from the story behind and the process of how they did it. Really, really good stuff. Very well impressed by this collection. Um, my favorite would be the Wabash Salvage Collection. I, I got the pants and the sailor shirt, guys. So, yeah, I I'm super happy that how Isai and Aaron released all this. And it's a way of making use of their garments. They mentioned earlier that they had this fabric stock in their warehouse for some time now. I'm happy that they made use of it and happy for them and the release here at Commonwealth. Yeah, as usual, you know, don't forget to check out The Third World. This is our first episode, and we're really happy that we're finally doing this, you know, for the community. Um, if you wanna, <laughs> if you wanna go visit our <laughs> IG, we're at The Third World. At, at the dot third world. At the, the, the and, third world. Um, oh, by the way, hey Carlo, what did you think about Fortune Wonder? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was awesome, you know, um, I thought it was really cool, you know, like, I thought it was awesome. That, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, first of all. Did you guys think that it was cool that when they mentioned their their uh, work jacket that the it had like Snoop Dogg? Snoop Dogg? Yeah. I didn't think that they actually used that as an inspiration. Like it's something that you wouldn't know, but then when you hear the people who created the garments like talk about it, it really shows like the passion that they have for what they created. And I also think that it's super cool that they've also have access to like their own factory now. Now they can focus just purely on pattern making and just experimenting with things that they want to do. It really, really opens up a lot of possibilities for their brand going forward. Really happy for Fun Fortune Wonderworks. Um, what did you guys think about Titan? Titan? It was okay. Yeah, yeah it, was okay. It, was, it was cool. <laughs> it was cool, you know. For me, as a person like from Canada and check out the new Titan store for the first time, like I've been to the old store and you know, I just think that uh, the store is amazing, like with, with all the decorations, all the rare sneakers that they have, and the custom stuff. Yeah. And uh, their selection is just A+. Plus. I don't think you can get that collection anywhere else in the Philippines, like uh -huh. just the level of releases that they have. I definitely think that Titan is pretty much at the top of the mountain when it comes to sneaker yeah. stores in Manila. They don't so. disappoint. Oh no, oh no, oh no. But yeah, oh like no, alright. Super happy that we finally got to share our first episode with you guys. Yeah. Um, once again, I'm Carlo. This is Madge. This is Jethro. Uh, we are the Third World, recording for the Third World Vlogs, and this is us signing out. Thank you once again for being with us for this episode, and we hope to see you guys soon. Peace. Peace. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. Yeah.